stupid fucking bullshit. Sean from Middle Grounded. Today we're going to talk about why Mr. Penis, a.k.a. the Cornville Crazy, a.k.a. the Maniac, a.k.a. the Ruler of the Trailer of Failure, cannot keep a job. Number one, the first shot of criticism at him and his behavior would send him into a spiral. I don't know the first time if he'd unleash one of his tirades but I do know he would not react well. Curse words, going over to Tony and Wendy's, using it as an excuse to drink like 700 beers, complaining about his boss nonstop, screaming, yelling, crying. And I think that would be the end of it for the first time. Now, if he got criticism a second time, that is when I think he would lose it on his boss. And he would quit. Do you remember when he told his precious princess he quit? Because his boss told him he couldn't talk to other people. I'm fairly certain Lauren's the guy that sits around at work and just wants to talk about nothing. About the minutia in his day. About what time he got up. What he did right after he got up. what How he put his underwear on. He's also the kind of guy that couldn't... He couldn't be socially interactive with anyone. Lauren isn't married. He's still a virgin. He doesn't have a girlfriend. A lot of the guys at work are going to be talking about their wives. They're going to be talking about their girlfriends. They're going to be talking about sex. Lauren couldn't join in any of those conversations whatsoever. He would feel so inferior and so inadequate. I think it would drive him crazy. I think he would quit. Lauren needs a job like dry truck. Because it allows him to be just Lauren. And he can live in that Lauren fantasy world. And he can stay on the phone with his catfish all day. And I think that Lauren drinking so much just makes him tired, hungover. The ability to do his job would diminish over time. So would his interest. Imagine if a girl at Circle K, as he's said before, you know, this, this mythical girl at Circle K showed him any real interest. I think he would spend all his days at work calling this girl, even if they're not together, because he would say they were headed to a relationship. I think he would spend all his day at work calling her, and I think he would drive there, and I think he would stalk her. I think he'd be sitting outside. He'd go in, lean on the counter, try to be cool. She'd end up having to talk to the manager. The manager would ask him to leave. Lauren would reason it out that... Well, she just had to do her job, and she couldn't do it while I was there. And he would tell Tony and Winnie, Wendy, I don't know, he says it like that. He would tell them that this girl really wants him, and he's a distraction at work because, you know, so he had to leave because she wasn't able to get her work done because she was spending all her time talking to him. He would do those mental gymnastics, and he would quit his job so that he could do that if he didn't get fired for doing that. Like we said before, he's a scary, possessive, stalker, you know, tendency-having dude. Those are a couple reasons right off the top of my head why he couldn't keep a job. I don't think he's smart enough. I think they'd have to put him on the most basic of jobs. I think it was the Air Force he was in. You know what? I can't remember off the top of my head. But I do know that he had a position that he could not perform the duties up to standard... So they ended up moving him to a job that involved climbing into fuel tanks, right? And cleaning those out. Fumes, dirty, greasy crap getting all over his clothes. And I think he couldn't even do that right. That's pretty much, that's telling right there. When you graduate 87 out of 87, number one, you're in a school with 87 people in your graduating class. And you're 87th out of those. He's never experienced what life is really like. He hasn't traveled, except to Nashville, as far as I know, or whatever he did in the Air Force. But he traveled to Nashville, and we saw what happened. If he went to work, my guy is not supposed to be on the Internet. Ask yourself, if there was access to the Internet there, do you think he's going to follow his rules of probation? Or he's going to jump on there 
and he's going to start chatting with people. Nowadays, you can get caught. Back then, not necessarily, because they didn't have the monitoring stuff they do now. But Lauren couldn't keep a job, and I think that's why. I don't know what you guys think, but those are some of the, the big key issues that would prevent him from keeping it or getting one, to say the least. Please like, subscribe, and share. I will make more in-depth videos about this version, and I'll talk to you in the next one. <laughs>